Okay, and so today is the taste test that I promised y'all. Although, y'all are probably like, what happened what to the video? Test? And I'm just like, I had to delete it and re-upload it. So, if you're astute and you noticed what was up to that video, why didn't you tell me? Well done. <laughs> no one told me until I had a, someone on Instagram tell me. Anyway, if you don't know, we are taste testing our December Tokyo treat. I'm thirsty. We are taste testing our December Tokyo treat, which, um, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I thought we were going to continue it. No, I didn't know. <laughs> anyway, if you guys have not been to the taste before, the way it happens is that we do uh, a savory item, then a sweet then. item. Not necessarily, sometimes we start with sweet. Sometimes. A sweet item, then but a savory basically, item. We alternate between sweet and savory. And savory. If we can. you know, it's like a palate cleanser. <laughs> Halloween was like all sweet, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was. And then we had like. Sometimes it's a bit yeah. tricky to do that because yeah. there's like not a very good distribution. I tend to favour a good balance, a good balance. of stuff. And we actually have a booklet this time. Because last time we didn't. Yeah, that was fun. We were just like, this looks tasty. Oh, it's not. <laughs> okay, so, if you would like to grab a sweet. A, a sweet item. A sweet item. Uh, let's try this little little fella first. So this is a melon bread cookie. Oh, how are we going to share this? It's teensy. You need to get the little... It's, it's, oh, you know what I forgot? It's teensy. The scissors. The scissors. Can you go grab the scissors? Oh, please? yep. Oh, come you know, you got to be careful opening these. Sometimes there has been a time when I have ripped open the packaging and it's gone muted into like <laughs> the future. <coughs> and the box, please. Box. But yeah, oh, it, this is so tiny. It's me. I really like melon pan. I think you should just have this one. Just look how small this is. It's so cute. Yeah, it's like a thumb. It's adorable. <laughs> it's, it's weensy. Ow. Do I have the rest? Mm hmm. Oh. It tastes like what you'd expect it to taste like. Mm -hmm. But not as melony, actually. Which is plus points for me, because I'm not big on melon. But yeah, but if it's meant to be melon yeah. pan, it's supposed to taste like melon pan. But it tastes more bready. To yeah, me. it was very crumbly. Well. But it made a nice paste in the mouth. Ew. That doesn't sound appealing when you say that. A nice that. bready paste. <laughs> okay, let's go for the umaibo next. And we've got takoyaki umaibo. I'm pretty sure we've had takoyaki before. It rings a bell, doesn't it? But I think there's only so many Umaibo flavors mm -hmm. out there. We've conquered them all. So you know. I mean, I actually seriously doubt we've conquered them all, but... I think we have eaten quite a fair amount of them at this point. Crunch. Oh! If you guys don't know what Umaibo looks like, it's like... <laughs> yeah, just tuck, tuck straight in. <laughs> it looks like this. It's like a it's sort like, of cereal. It's a corn puff. Mm, yeah, corn puffy puff. Corn puff tube. Mm. And it comes in many different flavors. Do you really awesome? There's also sweet variations too. But I prefer the savory mm. variations now. I actually prefer the flavor of takoyaki over actual takoyaki. I found actual takoyaki, didn't like it. See, this is really tasty. Mm. But th again, I've never had actual takoyaki, so I can't really comment. Um, but it is kind of seafoody and nice, you know? Yeah. yeah. So if you don't know, takoyaki are mm. octopus balls. And I think the reason I didn't like it, I might have had a bad batch. I don't know, I'll have to go oh. to Japan and actually try actual, proper, made-in country takoyaki, but I tried it. I didn't like it. I, firstly, I burnt myself on it, because uh, the insides were still molten. Good start, isn't it? And you wouldn't like it either, because nope. they used to put mayonnaise all over the top of them, oh. and he is not a fan of mayonnaise. Right. So yeah. I despise it, no, thank you. A sweat, go, cheese. I can't reach. Uh. Quick, uh. improve your flexibility, bend yourself in half. Oh man, this is a big box. Indeed, if you like to share chocolate the, cake. If you like to share the good folks, it is the bourbon Sylvain. 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 Chocolate cake, and apparently cake in Japan is a staple holiday food. Woo! Cake. Apparently. It's like, how do I open this without so destroying it? So it's got delicious cream and a sweet chocolate coating. And they ask, who else loves cake for the holidays? Paul I... hates cake, my friend. He doesn't like chocolate either, so this is like the, the ultimate no-no, you know? See, I like cake, but I prefer to prefer... I prefer to prefer. Yeah? I prefer the vanilla cake I think type. I would completely annihilate this box. Oh my god, what It's all gone horribly done? wrong. It's all gone wrong. Uh, mm. Packaging within packaging, huh? <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is like very much like a party snack yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because they're all like this, so like if you're at a party, you would just open them and you have them out, right? Mm -hmm. People bring stuff like this to work when it's their birthday. <laughs> you Do you like some cake, madam? I don't want a whole cake. You don't want a whole cake? They're, just, they're like little. I, yeah, can I just buy one and you have the rest? Oh, I mean, sure. I was gonna have a whole one. You can't have a whole one. <laughs> I it don't want to have like, one. It looks like this. And like, I a little, like a little slice of cake. Whoa. Oh. 
you gonna have the rest? Oh, fuck that. It looks like this inside. It won't focus. You won't focus. Look at the cake, you stupid camera. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's kind of fud fudgy looking. Am I having the rest? Yeah. Okay. I'll. You need a remainder of these later. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes pretty much like what you expect chocolate covered cake. Uh, but not very cakey, more chocolate than cake. In my yeah. Opinion. It tastes kind of alcoholic to me, you know? Yeah, well, I don't know. It says bourbon, Savine. So oh. maybe it's like the flavor of the bourbon. Ah. Uh. If it actually had alcohol, I would know. I hate alcohol. I mean, are you sure? It really tastes like bourbon to me. Yeah, because it's bourbon flavor, I think. Oh, okay. Whew. Anyway. <laughs> that was clearing the taste buds. Yeah, right? interesting. <laughs> anyway, let's try a slightly sweet and savory flavor. And we've Pink. got, I don't think you'll like these. Strawberry? No, I won't. Yeah. So they're uh. crisps with like strawberry chocolate coating on them. Nanny the hell. So yeah, they're, it's the same brand, bourbon strawberry chocolate chips, basically. I'm so that's I'm interesting. More bourbon. I know that I'm into stuff like this, but only if it's like fairly salty with the yeah. sweet comparison. Oh god, <laughs> they look so funny. But they don't look funny. So they look scary. They look like this. So you've got the crisps in there with the ch uh, the strawberry. I can coating. smell them. Yeah, you don't like strawberry. I'll try one anyway for science. Oh, oh man, it's really coated in this strawberry shit. <gasps> It's really not that bad. I quite like it. Looking at his face, he says he doesn't like it. Ugh. I'm trying not to taste it. Could be more salty. If it was saltier, I'd like it more. Uh huh. Mm. Actually, that, look, I managed to eat that relatively without tasting much strawberry. It doesn't even taste that strawberry. <laughs> I w if I had the option between that and any other crisps in the world, I'd probably take the rest, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Coming next week, armpit crisps. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Tomato okay, and cherry. This is weird. I'm yeah. intrigued. Tomato and cherry gummies. What the And apparently hell? it's a health orientated snack which contains a natural blend of collagen and lycopene to help increase, to help increase one's beauty. <laughs> Good luck, I'm already at max. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds weird. It does. I like tomato, I like cherry. Together, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit like, these are really unrelated flavours, man. Yeah, I mean, they're both technically fruit, so... You like a gummy? Oh, they're, they're really like interesting. little kind of... So uh, they look like pretty innocuous gummies, you know? I'd ex yeah, if I saw these, I'd, I'd assume they were apple flavoured, probably. They don't even smell like... It smells like cherry. Oh, oh it's really soft. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't unexpected. No, there's like a soft, squishy part and some yeah. bits of fub. Indeed. The top fell off. Do you taste any tomato? Yeah. I don't really taste any anything, to be honest. The flavors it tastes are... like a fruit gummy to me. Yeah. But not distinctly tomato uh, or cherry. Yeah. It's kind of like... That's weird, man. If you just had a big pulp with loads of fruit mashed together. Yeah. It tastes a bit like that. So it's kind of like you can tell it is fruit. Like Which if you did one? tell me if it was tomato, I, no, I, no I way wouldn't know. No. We wouldn't know. Eh, not entirely unpleasant Weird. though. I mean, yeah. I liked it. it was fun. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. I'm just saying it didn't taste like tomato yeah. or cherry. They could have just called it like uh, grey flavour and I would have been like, sure. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Soil and green. Let's go with this. Oh, hell yeah. So this is a caramel white sesame cracker. Yeah, boy. It's pretty self-explanatory. Y'all know what sesame is. If you're allergic to nuts, Look don't away. eat them. Look away. <laughs> it comes... <laughs> Like this, it looks own, nutty. comes in its own little tray. You can see all the sesame seeds sort of compressed together in whatever. It looks like a rice cracker. When I was keeping it together, I don't mm. know. I imagine it's gonna be very crumbly. Oh, you like, betcha. It's just <laughs> take a take a chump. That was the most tiny chump I've seen in my life. Mm. So, if you guys are Asian, okay, maybe if you're not, <laughs> maybe if you're not just Asian, but this is just exactly like a sesame snack that my brother and my dad really like. I don't know what the specific name brand is, but it comes in a yellow packet with blue on it. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. But it tastes exactly like that. It just tastes like a bunch of sesame seeds come together. Like, what else would you expect, really? Indeed. It's nice, though. Yeah, it's wow. nice. I imagine it's very high in protein because of nuts. That's, nuts. that's the thing, right? That's how it works, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get it out of its like little disc holder, though. Ah. Uh, I feel bad eating this because I take like bites three times the size to... You can eat more if you want. Nah, I'll finish it in two bites. Yeah, you might as well finish it. Ah. 
Oh, was there anyone else hoping he would shove the entire thing in his mouth? Oh, fuck. You've let us all down. <laughs> Everyone's just like, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now I'm good. Okay. You can finish consumering your nuts. Yeah, jelly drink. Mm -hmm. So, I was very, very excited for this. What's the explanation? Uh, it's Fanta. Fanta mango jelly drink. Now, if you guys know me, you know I really love mango. I really like jelly. So these are like two of my favorite things put together and I'm very excited. So it's time to shake up this holiday. So you gotta shake it up and then drink it. So it's got like jelly inside. So you gotta shake up the, 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 the thing to shake up the jelly to make it drinkable basically. So Woo! Ooh, yeah, boy! I hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Okay. Moment of truth. Seems legit. Interesting, interesting. A bit moist now. <laughs> smells like mango. I also need to burp. Let me do that first. Edit over this with the sound of a trombone. Honk. Uh, Honk. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> I got like a chunk of jelly in the first one and it's a little bit fizzy actually okay I was thinking they would like eliminate some of the fizz because obviously if you have to shake it to break up the jelly huh? it would agitate the fizz a bit but yeah I feel like some... spill on you I thought I did but I don't think I did I think I thought I did but I didn't if that makes sense what's your opinion on this because Evan is not a fan of jelly it's all right it tastes sufficiently like poppy I think <laughs> the, the jelly is kind of a secondary concern I really like jelly as well. No, I don't. I hate mm. jelly. Uh, yeah, you fool. Who I are meant to you? say I really like Fanta as well. I was yeah. going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny how it makes you go <laughs> when you're drinking it, though, because you're trying to suck the jelly out, right? Yes, I enjoy this added jelly experience. <laughs> All in all, tastes like mango Fanta. Yeah, yeah. With jelly chunks. The chunks are also a bit jelly, which is quite nice. I like that. I like that. Is it safe there? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, so let's go with this. I think I've had this before. I think my big sister sent me like a giant pack of this once before. Spoilers. Something similar. Yeah, it looks like it. But it's one of those sort of healthy veggie snacks which don't taste like shit. Health? Health veggie snacks. I snack to destroy my health. Pish. <laughs> so this is vegetable potato sticks share pack. So you can sure. get, there's like these uh, nine different vegetables hmm. to give you a variety of flavors in one treat. Does that have so, Oh yeah, so you can see this got tomato, pepes, carrot, basil, spinach, basil, yeah, something else, pumpkin, so sort of squash, beetroot, and onion. Onion one. Well, that's what we can tell from. No, they're not separate. They're all mushed oh. up for the one stick. So that's what we're the sun. Oh, and potato, obviously. It's like the tomato and cherry one, but more honest. Yeah. They look like French so, fries. They're really cute. It's like the kind of thing I would imagine parents in Japan giving to their kids after school or something. Mm. In the well. lunchbox. Yeah, or in the lunchbox. Although they make bentos and stuff, so they said, don't know. <laughs> bentos are lunchboxes. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> These are quite nice. They're okay. They taste just like, um, lightly salted things, I guess. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's like eating a... Uh, a less strong. Can't remember what they're called now. Less strong. <laughs> you know those crisps we get in blue and white packages? They're like uh, quite sour. Salt and vinegar? Yeah. They're like little fish finger shapes as well. But they don't taste overly veggie either. No. I was they're... gonna say, it just tastes like salt to me. Yeah. Which is fine. Salt's tasty. So like a light stack of. Yeah. I don't know if I'd have that many of these at once, but I easily could. <laughs> I feel like it's dangerous, you know? Yeah, they're quite nice. That's why I like these little packs, because they're yeah. like, warm around the little fire. It's just enough. Mm. Warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, sweet. Hold the box. Now there's a sour one down there, which might be just out of your vision. That I think you should go with next. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my, is this popping candy? No, it's, um, I think it's, uh... I can't do the focus thing. You gotta put your hand behind it too. Uh, hey, look, it worked. Yeah, told you. I can do camera things. Yeah. It's sour popping cola so, candy, apparently. Uh, oh no, not sour. Oh, not oh. sour actually. It's cola. bubbly cola ramune candy. So it's got a bubbly sensation similar to carbonation and a rich sweet cola flavor. I like the packaging. Mm. Okay. Uh, there's three of them seemingly. Would you like some drugs, sir? Yeah. 
Hit Don't do drugs, kids, unless it's been prescribed to you by your doctor. In that case, you need those drugs. I'll, I'll pull it out. But don't buy them, otherwise. It's kind of like. Oh, a I neutral, ripped it open. It didn't even open. A neutral looking. It looks like a pair. It's a pressed powder candy, basically. Yeah. So it, I imagine it's gonna froth up, maybe. I don't know. Tastes nice. Oh yeah, you can get a little bit of the cola. The bubbly. It's fizzing on my tongue. Yeah, the the fizzy carbonation. Mm, mm. They trapped uh, the soul of cola. No, no. <laughs> I can hear it going. <laughs> I have rabies now. Mm. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh. My mouth really fluffy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. <coughs> Don't crunch it. For those who are wondering what just happened. <coughs> Don't crunch it. Andy bit down. Oh, it's really sour in the center. Huh. Yeah, because sometimes when you get major combination, it gets a bit... Mm. Yeah, I'm no, very that, 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 that candy was meant to sort of fizz away on your tongue gently while you have it in there. We bit down, and it was just like, Psh! yeah, man. <laughs> and there was just fizz it's everywhere. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I didn't have the patience to just sit there. But I know. So we could have like, been there for a while. We could have been there for a while. Hey, that was Ooh, fun. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, me too. But it feels like there's like bubbles all in my throat now. No. I feel like I'm gonna like burp later. Psychosomatic burp syndrome. So next up are these. Whoa. Salty. Green pea mini chips. Oh. These are the ones that I think Evan might like quite a bit because I like what well, I like pea stuff. He likes pea stuff. I he like peas. Corn. Bro, he doesn't like corn. I mean, that's I, it. I like corn. Uh, see, I told you. Disgusting. Cola burps. Cola burps. These are fragrant. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> they're so cute. Okay, I gotta be careful to not spill them. But oh. yeah, how cute is this, you guys? Yeah. They are so small and adorable. I love that. Little green. I was, I was partially excited because I knew they were gonna be small and adorable. Yeah. And very predictable. I'm oh just gonna pinch like three. That's like. God, four. you fiend. Oh. It's a slightly different texture to what we're used to. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to taste after that cola explosion. Well. It's a nice texture though. It is. But <laughs> not as flavorful as I would have liked this to be. Well, maybe I can eat more at once. That's what I'm trying to think at the minute. I'm getting hint of bean. Hint. Pea. A pea. Kinda. Hmm. It's more, like one, it's more like one of those sort of aftertaste kind of things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. I'm like. I just had a big mouth. You need to have like a giant fistful of these, I think. <laughs> Otherwise, they're kind of bland, actually. I admit, I am a bit disappointed. Damning criticism. Mm. The packaging's cute, though. <laughs> but the texture's kind of moorish. Yeah. Which means we're going to be here for the next three minutes of the video. With Andy just slowly stuffing the face. Want your money, bitches? Uh, that's DIY. Don't want. Don't want. Uh. Yes. Uh. We have the biscuits. I'm we got some rainbow sh crayon. No, that's crayon Chin Chan uh, again. Uh, I still don't know heck about this guy. No. Apart from our exposure to him via these. Yeah. We've, we're like sort so, of direct experts. Chin Chan apple choco bee. So choco bee is a popular sweet puff snack throughout Japan, and they've got a new flavor, which is apple flavor, and it uses real apple paste made from the Nagano Prefecture apples. What the hell am I doing? How do I open this? I, put, I just push the tab in. It's all going And around. then you push the tab and you go. Ugh! Oh. Like this. And you yeet off the top. Yeet! Yeet! <laughs> oh, yes! Hello. My stickers. Oh. That's why I like these boxes. <laughs> That's the only reason we order Tokyo. <laughs> because I get stickers in the packaging sometimes. I am a simple man. That's all I can say. <laughs> totally. Let's see if I can open this. Uh, see, the only thing is that when I do these, I worry that when I cut them, I might actually cut the sticker as well. And no, I'm very sad. See. Just open the stickers later. No, I have to see the sticker. The people want to see the sticker, don't you guys? Fair enough. Mm -hmm. You see, to us, stickers are very important. Stickers are cute. Okay. <laughs> uh, what the uh, heck? He's like he's butterhead? In, no, he's um he's in all the udon steamboat bowls, you know? I don't know what they're called in Japan, but it's like the equivalent of stew. Okay. The, uh, 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 you know... Broth. <laughs> you know... Don't hit me. <laughs> you uh, know, in. <coughs> what are they called? I just don't know what you're saying. 
<laughs> in, you know also match the sound. Yes. You know the little guy where they eat the, his food at his stall all the time? Yes. It's that. Udon. Not the Udon. That's only talking about. Odin. Odin. Ah. Uh, yeah, Odin, I think that's Udon. that. And then someone's gonna come swooping in and be like, no, I know you're wrong, you idiot. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, pro probably. Like, probably. And anyway, the biscuits. Anyway. Yes, you didn't even show the people. You just dove right in and ate them. I was gonna open my mouth and show you my tongue, but that'd be gross. Mm -hmm. So, they look like little stars, which is really cute. And how would you rate the apple flavor on a scale of one to apple? R moderate. Oh, apple. yeah! Oh, yeah, it tasted like apple. Mmm. Ah. It's okay. actually very apple. Uh huh. It's a little more apple than I expected. It's kind of like actually eating a slice of apple. But it kind of has a weird aftertaste. A little bit, yeah. That's yeah. why I was kind of like, should I eat another one? Then I did. Uh. Yeah, the aftertaste is kind of chemically. Not my snack of choice. It tastes... But I can appreciate it might be someone's. It tastes like an apple candy to me. Yeah. It's got like that kind of sugary sweetness to it. Meh. Yeah, meh. Meh, it was close. Next! <laughs> Next! <laughs> How's that banter? That noise though. Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. This is our last savory item, I believe. Mm. Oh, my wrist needs clicking. Oh, click it then. Ah, oh, I cannot. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Can you put this down, please? <laughs> oh man. Ah, <clears throat> oh, I'm in tremendous and pain. And a brief intermission while Evan's dying. Oh. Elevating music. What elevating music even plays? Doom, uh, doom, doom, doom. Just jazz music, yeah. Anyway, while that's going on, pizza. You've got pizza flavored hoops. That's not very Christmas. However, uh, yes, it is. Look, there's a reef on the front. <laughs> Christmas pizza. <laughs> See, there's a reef on the front. You've got the Santa hat. So this is Christmas. It even says Christmas pizza. It's Christmas pizza pateco. That's kind of fucked. So apparently Pateco is this popular savory snack throughout Japan and for the holiday season they've got a limited time pizza flavour. Wow. However, our experience with Japanese hula hoops is that they have not... They never taste of anything. Yeah. They're, 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 they're often not very flavourful at all and we're just like... They taste of salt. Which isn't a bad thing. Yeah, but it's but not But it's not what it advertises. Anyway, we shall see. We're going into this with a very low bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you like pizza? Or is it just a hint of pizza? Or is it the ghost of pizza past? Ooh. Yeah, who knows, man? I'm still just quietly reeling from the fact that they're trying to spin pizza as Christmassy. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. Intragusting. Yeah. Aren't these usually tiny as well, this brand? <laughs> Look, there's even one which has unrolled itself. I saw. See? Yeah. So, it looks as what you would expect. It smells kind of cheese. And there is snacky. like. Well, I mean, because obviously, cheese I think pizza. when they make pizzas, they like kind of focus on the cheesy aspect. Those fools. Wow. Hmm. That was disgusting. Mm hmm. Um. No, get more into your mouth and try it. That's what I. I just did. No. Uh. It we tastes, were right. <laughs> it tastes of stuff. It tastes like a. There's like a ghost of basil in here. <laughs> I think it's just kind of like um. Not very pizzery. Cheesy. Yeah, it is a bit cheesy. There's a hint of basil, which is what really what people focus on when they're making a pizza flavour. Um, it's what I've noticed anyway. I think it's kind of unpleasant actually. It's like it's okay actually. Lower end of mediocre, I want to say. Um, I think it's probably the cheesy that's why that's putting yeah. you off. Yeah, probably. Because it's like at least they've done something that's not just salt. Mm. But on the other hand, what they have done, I don't like anyway. <laughs> you can't win, guys. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's like so many ways to do pizza. Yeah. Why can't they do it with capers and olives, huh? Capers are dis delicious. I was gonna say disgusting. Yeah, you need to say disgusting. <laughs> capers are lovely. <laughs> yeah. Well, nice, but it's yeah. a very niche. That's a very niche pizza. Yeah. Kind of thing. Only if you never have pizza IRL, I think, would you be able to tolerate those? <laughs> I have pizza all the damn time. <laughs> yeah, I do wonder what the state of pizza is like in Japan. The state of pizza. We can do a program like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't reach. Oh my god. I can't reach. Oh my god, he's absolutely decimating my nest right now. Yeah. Okay, we have a, some sort of fish biscuit. So we've got takoyaki. Surely not, it's got a fish on it. Tayaki. Oh, okay. That's what I meant to say. Teriyaki. Uh, yeah, teriyaki. So it's burnt caramel teriyaki. So and he says, oh no, coal for Christmas? Yes, I've been terrible. Um, of course not. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> says, you were good this year. So well, you get a tasty burnt caramel teriyaki. And I was just like, burnt caramel just doesn't sound appealing to it me. It doesn't really. But yeah. 
So if you don't know, teriyaki is like a cup of pudding thing they have there and they turn it into snacks just because they can. It's cute. There's gluttons. Because it's in a fish shape and people like fish. You right? <laughs> anyway, yes. Would you like to snip? Snop, snop. <laughs> I was going to say, you have the scissors. In before it's in pieces. Ooh, no. Ooh. Oh, oh! This it's is black. the first time it's actually come in like one piece. It's black. So it looks like this. It does indeed smell like burnt caramel. It does smell kind of ashy. <laughs> <laughs> Went up my nasal. Yeah. My nasal cavity. Let's okay, just carry I'm on. Being weird. Yeah. Doesn't smell appealing. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Tastes nicer than it looks. What is your opinion? Okay, so there's two, there's two textures. Mm. It's the black bit on the outside is kind of like a crispy sort of wafer texture, mm -hmm. and the middle is kind of like the middle of an Aero chocolate bar, mm. which is like sort of a bubbly, more um, slightly firmer texture. Um, I think the wafer was kind of nasty actually <laughs> yeah. on the outside, but the middle bit with this kind of chocolatey flavor. It's quite nice. It's it really, quite nice. It really yeah. does look like an aero texture inside, actually. If you mm, yeah. Keep your hand behind it. Oh yeah. Maybe no. I don't know. Yeah. See. Just about. Yeah. 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 It's it's quite bubbly and nice in the middle, but like like I said, this kind of burnt ashy, burnt caramel stuff on the outside is a bit nasty, actually, in my opinion. Munch Check the that whole out. thing. Munch, munch. I can't munch the whole thing. Yes, you can. I believe. Uh, oh. Yeah. I didn't want this crummy thing outside in the wild. You know. Mm -hmm. I trust that. Um. Mm. Yeah, we're all done with this. Savara. Mm -hmm. So what's left is a DIY kit. Mm -hmm. So we've got the exciting fishing DIY mm -hmm. kit. <laughs> so it says let's go fishing for sweet, sweet Japanese candy. So it says fun DIY kit that you put your cone oh. candy fish and reel them in for a fun treat. Um, no worries. There's a place and a squid and all sorts on it. So this will require a little bit of fiddliness, actually. Uh -huh. So you've got to take a string, lay it across the fishes in the mold, and you put the spoon and pull the powder, and then you oh, I get it. scoop the water in it. Wait, five minutes? This is going to be one of the more harder DIY kits that we've ever attempted, Expert so difficulty. I'm going to lower the camera so you guys can sort of witness us fail in HD. <laughs> She's added like five stars, flashes across. <laughs> Expert! <laughs> <laughs> So, let's open this up. Shall I zoom in the camera a bit? Oh, you can see our um, our legs. I'm, I'm a wheelchair. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Obviously not. <laughs> in before I get reported on my channel yeah. for like, I, I don't know. Is this, this is the powder, I assume. It's the good stuff. So then, you can see you got the fishies in the tray here. That's cute. We have to lay the string so around between hold them. The, hold the tray. Yeah. And then... <laughs> yeah. You got a fishing rod. Yeah. We're gonna cut out in a minute. Oh, we are in a second. Let me well. just restart the camera for y'all. Yeah. Welcome back. So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is really funny. So as you can see, we have like the fishing rod here, which is quite, it's quite entertaining looking. I know. But this is a little, oh, look, there's a little fishing rod here. We've got a little string. So we have to. You have to like lay the string through the sort of course ahead of time. Which so sounds like really. You put the string, like. This is nonsense. This is this is. It even says this is a simple DIY, and I'm like, are you sure? Bro, it's not like the string fits into the hole. Can you hold this? Hold the rod. So I'll hold try. the tray with your other hand. Like swap this? hands, swap hands. Yeah. Why? Swap, swap hands. Yeah, so it's easy for you to hold. Is what I'm saying. Because the rod's gotta go here. So hold the rod down. Hold it further away. <laughs> I don't think the people can see this. This is a simple DIY! I don't think people can see this on YouTube at all. Yes, I can. I put it back in frame. Okay. This is a simple DIY, they say. This is Lies. This is proving to be harder than I anticipated. Not to be mean, but this is utter nonsense. Eh. This isn't going to stay here. Uh, it will. It will. I'm determined. Okay, now do not move. Oh, heck. <laughs> and then I have to put the powder over the fish, and then we have to add water over the powder, and that's what turns it into fish. And then I have to wait five minutes. Yes, I believe in you, you can do this. Oh God. Everyone cheers for Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, Evan. Oh boy, oh boy handy. Oh, that was a bit more than I. No, that's good, maybe it'll hold the string there. Yeah, let me just sort of like pat it down. Mm -hmm. 
I've seen like kids like this done before. Oops. It's all good. That string's not enough in there. No. Should be string. <laughs> See how it is. That's good. Oh, the strings escaped from number three. Altogether. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. If he wishes to be free, then who am I to deny him? Oops. Oops. Pour it on number three. I am, I am. Okay, so it turns out there's just enough powder for all of the fishies, which is good, I guess. That's oh, what you want. Yeah, it's like... Shit. <laughs> Number three is not on the string. Yeah, number three is just the string for number three just doesn't want to stay. It doesn't. That's, that's okay. Okay, then next we have to add the water and sit still for the rest of my life. And then Evan must not move. Oh God, this is gonna be messy. Yeah. <laughs> this is an easy DIY that anyone can do. This is this is expert difficulty, man. Easy DIY that anyone can do. My ass. Yeah. Ooh. 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 It's Ooh. pink. It's absorbing. Ooh. Slurp. <laughs> That's actually kind of aesthetic. It is kind of it is kind of um satisfying to do, not gonna lie. Yeah. Would I say it was all worth it for this moment? No. No. <laughs> Slurp. 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 I think oh. I might have added too much liquid in some of this. Do you think? Maybe. I don't care. That's just it. I think that's it. Yeah. And then you have to wait for it, wait five minutes to harden, and then you can pull them up with the string, apparently. So I'm just gonna like pause, and I'll bring you guys back when it's ready. Yeah. Hopefully. Okay. We're back. So we're back, and they're kind of hard. So I was like, instead of just pulling them out, because uh, I decided I was gonna sort of pop them out, which might get a bit easier. Then we can pull them. So hold the string. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pump out. I actually put too much water in there, so we had to put yeah. out and I slurped it up. We did like a little operation with uh. Because I'm, I'm full, you, you know? Try pop out number one first. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, but... Oh, this one's a bit tough. This yeah. one doesn't want to pop as much. Oh, I'm pulling. Okay, pull gently, gently, gently. We did hey! it! We have fish! <laughs> Look at this! This is so funny! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, you can actually make shapes as well. Look! We do! Look, so you got the salmon. Oh. Not focusing like it's like also these. backward. Turn it around. Turn the salmon around. Turn the salmon. Yeah, we got this. Got the salmon. salmon. Oh. We got the squid. squid. Wait, he's not turning either. They're, they're all facing back. No, turn, turn my squid. Ah, my oh. squid is tentacle. It's, it's sand. He committed seppuku. Can you turn it around? No. You know what this reminds me of? Sugar mice. Squid. Yeah, squid. And we have octopus. No, that's not an octopus. I can't tell what that is. Then is it we a place? have. Like we a have a something. No. Oh, it's a puffer fish. Yeah. And then lastly, we have. A That's fish. a place. The flat fish. A place. I can't believe it. Nice. How do we eat it? Now we have to turn the camera back so you guys can see our faces. As we numb the thing. Hold that, yeah. <coughs> Feels kind of dangerous. Nah, it'll be fine. We got this. I I think it's actually quite cool, you know. Yeah, it's kind do of funny. Do you want to numb the fish off the end? And <laughs> he's like. How? It's also muscat flavour, by the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah! It's turning into a powder candy. Very powdery. <laughs> <laughs> but a sense of success from achieving it. It's actually quite nice as well. It is. I'm impressed. It's all up in my teeth, so. All up in my teeth. Careful. Like DIY candy is usually a bit meh. Oh, it depends. <laughs> As you bite this, aren't you the fish? And yeah. I am the fisherman, you know? <laughs> 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 oh, no. That was fun. That um, was an interesting DIY. Yeah. Mm. Usually it's just like, here's some stuff, add water. <laughs> It's gonna be a long video, huh? You're used to that with our taste tests. <laughs> Why else would you come here to watch us eat food for half an hour, huh? <laughs> That's what a mukbang is. Food. They are low key, yeah, well, <laughs> they are low key mukbangs. Anyway, it's part of the video where we choose our favorite sweet and our favorite savory item. Huh. So, favorite sweet, go. Oh, the sweets are all gone. Oh, yeah. Um, here, look in, look in the booklet. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like. <laughs> We've eaten all the sweet. 
Yeah. Um, actually, I think the bubbling cola. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's only the bubbling cola, but for me, my mm. favorite was this. Yeah, the bubbling cola was interesting. There's I think... one left, I think. If yeah. You want to show the folks? I don't know where it is, man. I can't Neither. see. It's, that's it should be on your side. Oh, my wrist! It's still, still doomed. I can't see. I think it is down here. Oh, once again, we have not made it in here. Long. Okay, and then favorite savoir. Probably those kind of crummy pea crisps, actually. Really? Which is funny, but yeah. The pea crisps. I'm not sure. Nothing else savory really like grabbed me this time. I like the veggie ball crisps, but only because I already had a bias for that. So, <laughs> kind of cheating, I guess, maybe. Nepotism. <laughs> but yeah, I like that one. Yeah, it, it was a, it was a. Impressions meh. of the overall crate. I don't know. We've had better ones. Yeah, maybe Japan and Christmas kind of sucks. You know, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we've had some sort of repeat snacks. We have. I think we've been subscribed for a while now. So we have. We have counts, seen a They lot. can't surprise us anymore. We know your tricks. We do. <laughs> I feel like they should have like special surveys for people who have been subscribed for a long time. Yeah. Because we kind of know what's up. We do, unfortunately. You know, and we are important pace. Pace. We're important people. Paysons. We're important pa part of your consumer base. Oh look, they have baths in the thing. Ooh, Sophia and, Sophia and Tyler went there, remember? Oh, I don't watch, remember. Watch the things with the... I do not chances. remember. Anyway, digressing. Yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give you... A big <laughs> thumbs up. Yes. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, hit the subscribe button and join the family. Meow. Meow. You didn't do it. I was doing thumbs up still. Meow. Because yes, you're adorable. <laughs> All my social media links are down below to check out if you like. Instagram is the most active. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen a sneak peek of this video because you know we like to get a little bit meta on this channel. And if you saw the taste test, well done. Yes. Uh, the, the unboxing, I mean. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, hope you guys enjoyed. Oof. Yeah, what up? Click the circular channel icon to subscribe. To watch more videos, click any of the videos down below. See you in my next one.